Hello, my name is Louise and today I'm filming a Shop My Stash. The last one was a Shop My Stash Travel Edition and that was really my ninth one. So now I guess I'm filming my 10th one. Okay, so when I did my uh, Travel Edition Shop My Stash, I didn't go through the products that I had in the one before, the eighth Shop My Stash. These are the products that were in that one. Um, I will just, you know, try to look through them quickly and give you a little hint of how I use things in no particular order. But we can start with highlighters, I guess, because they're the, the you know ones on top. Born to Glow and West Ventilier. Didn't use this one once, used this one, I think, with uh, foundation, which was nice. Then we have also the Becca Pearl, Becca, sorry, Becca Moonstone, used this one, I think, once or twice. It was fine. I had two bronzers. I had the Chanel number 30 and the uh, Dior Skin Nude Luminizer in 04. I think I used them a few times. Maybe it was a few weeks ago now, so my brain is not necessarily remembering all this very well. Powder, used it to set ma mainly for glasses, or mainly where my glasses lie against my nose. Mm -hmm. Two blushes, the Daniel Sandler Trip and the Must Have Blush from Makeup Store. I used this one, I think, maybe once, this one a few times. Mm. Little miscellaneous drawer, the one with lip liners and eye stuff. Inglot, I used it when I did use my Anastasia, otherwise I didn't use it. I think I used this one once, the Huda Beauty Matte, Matte and Melted in Bubble Bath and Pink Champagne. Um, when I mentioned this one last time, or four weeks ago now, I think, I said that it might make my eyelid tingle. It didn't. I don't... Maybe I used less of it than the first time I tried it. This one, the little mixture that I have, it's so comfortable! I just have to finish it now, though, I feel. I might enter it into a project pan relatively soon if I finish something else. Um, pink... Oh, no, sorry. This is Dream from... Lost Gods, I love it. I don't think I used it once though. And then we have Staunchly Stylish from MAC, did not use it. I have a primer from NYX. I think I used it a few times in foundations. The lip shades, I honestly don't remember which ones I used. I think I used this one like on an evening when I was playing around, but I don't think I used the other two. Single eyeshadows. I have three from Nabla, Madre Perla, Fahrenheit, and Lilac Wonder. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't use this one. I don't think I used that one. I did use Fahrenheit, I'm pretty sure, but yes, they're pretty, so. Ooh, that was quick. I also did have my NYX eyeshadow base that time, like two times ago, and the Suva Beauty um, UV Taffies, but here's, I did not travel in this bag, but I put them in this bag so I could show you what I brought with me on my travels. So, let's get into the Shop My Stash Travel Edition quick mention. For my travels, I had two little bags. I had this one and this one. They look humongous, they're not that big. This one and this one for my skincare and makeup and for my makeup. So that was, I'm pretty, you know, I feel like I traveled relatively light, which was nice. I did go to the south of Sweden for a wedding and then we continued on to Italy. And Italy has had a heat wave, so not that much makeup used, but. First from Shiseido, the eye color bar, beautiful. I used it once or twice, but it was super hot. So there was not a lot of eye makeup going on. In terms of tools, cause that's what I have next. I brought my Matrix Revolution little brush bag thing. These are the ones I brought with me. Bronzer, um, blush, highlighter, and then three eyeshadow pencils of different sizes. Egg. This is a really nice little bag and this collection of brushes is perfect, I feel. I also brought a makeup sponge. So here we have the Suva Beauty UV Taffies. I did not use them once, but they're beautiful, but we did not use them once. It was too freaking hot. Okay, so it'll be a little chaotic, but that's the theme apparently. Catrice eyeliner, love this. I used it not in Italy. I used it when I was at a wedding and ooh, I cried in that wedding, like so much. And my eyeshadow and eyeliner like on the side smudged, but everything else was fine. My face makeup even looked fine. So that's, you know, that's a testament to pretty good stuff. Anyway, Catrice eyeliner, really nice. Eyelash curler, uh, lip contour Medusa from Huda Beauty. I used it once, I think. This funky tool from H&M, which I adore for applying mascara. So you do like this. I'll show you. I was trying to like explain it last time. I didn't do it well. 
So, tool, mascara, and then you do like like this, and you go beep, beep, beep. It's so good. I love it. I feel like it works so well. But in terms of mascara, I brought the Dior Blackout and Waterproof. I really like this one for hot weather and waterproofness. It works fine for me. I also brought the Urban Decay Matte Ozone, Ultimate Ozone. Did not use it once. No, I lie. I used it once actually as an eyeshadow base. Creased a bit. I should have probably set it more. Mm. Highlighter, I brought the Milani Hypnotic Lights in 03. I think it's called Luster Light. I also brought the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost Palette. It's beautiful. Oh, I used all of these at least once. I used these two to set where my glasses lie and I used this one as a highlighter. Ow, that was also nice. I brought the Huda Beauty Cocoa Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist, but I had decanted it into this one. I have only a little left, so I use it a few times, five times, I think. And, you know, I don't think it did much for the for the longevity of my makeup. I don't think there isn't much that could hold up against 39 degree weather. It wasn't 39 degrees all the time. I do. I am exaggerating slightly, but, you know, 25, 26, 29 in the evenings. What are you going to do? Because it was mainly in the evenings where I actually wore makeup. So next we have the YSL highlighter. I use it pretty much every time I wore makeup. It's really nice. I could use it on, on its own. It's that nice. But usually I did combine it with a foundation. So the Westman Atelier Stick Foundation. Vital Skin Foundation Stick in Atelier 05. Works fine. I don't know. I don't know how it... Yeah. So a few more miscellaneous, I guess. A cream blush. Um, this is from Too Cool for Too Cool for School. I do not know what it's called. I use this one a lot. It was a really pretty color, and I found that it worked well. Then I brought the uh, liquid eyeshadow from Sample Beauty in Strapping. I used it once. I think it was nice. The NYX Studio Photogenic Eyeshadow Base. I used a few times. I'm pretty sure it's almost out. I did try to pull the stopper out, but I didn't have the tools, so I'm going to try again. And then I have the Linda Hallberg Brown Core Crayon. I used this one a lot as an eyeliner. It worked nicely when it was that hot, I felt. And finally, for my eyebrows, Lord & Berry Perfect Brow in Brunette. It was nice. I say finally, but I still have my lip products to talk about quickly. So I brought three lip products. This one from NYX is called Whipped Caviar. I used it a few times. It's a beautiful, like, my lips but better, but slightly more mauve. It's mm, gorgeous. I brought the shade Nothing Compares to You from Too Faced, pretty, like, orangey shade. I'm not sure it is my color, though, so I will be evaluating this. And then also the shade Paris Metro from Paul & Joe, which is a beautiful pinky beige on me. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. These three are, like, sheer-ish. Um, I guess this one is the most, like, opaque, but it is relatively close to my skin, like, lips. Lip tone? <laughs> Lip tone? So, you know, they aren't that, like oomph-y, but as we were traveling through Italy, I saw that many women and femme presenting people wore like a bright red lip. And I was like, why did I not bring a bright red lip? Why? So I'm just going to quickly say that I also popped into Kiko Milano. Kiko Milano is, a, is an Italian brand, which we do not have in Sweden. And they are cruelty free, so I <laughs> popped in there. I brought my niece along, and she also brought, brought it, bought a few things. But I'll just quickly say what I bought. I bought a burgundy mascara. When I was 14, this was the... Sh you were supposed to have, like, a colored mascara that would suit your eye color. And apparently, at least back then, I re distinctly remember that for brown eyes, burgundy was recommended. So I bought it. Then I could not just, ooh, this beautiful, <gasps> it's so pretty. I think that they're changing the packaging though, because this was, they had this color and this like lip product, the name and everything in two different places in the store, but the packaging was slightly different. So this might not look the same if you want this one. It's the shade 23. How about I do a quick swatch? I know this is not what, you know, what a shop my stash is about, but it's my video. I can do what I want. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Yes, Hatha. Oh, it's so ready. And it feels so nice. 
and it smells sweet like their other, like a little sweet like their other lip products. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Finally then, because the point was I was gonna get a red lip, right? Finally, I ended up buying the Smart Fusion Matte Lip Crayon in 05. It's also beautiful. Oh, look. It looks like very pinky red. Oh, I think it is. It, it is a pinky red. It's so pretty, super pretty. It sat really nicely on the lips as well. So mm -hmm. anyway, this is not a haul video, but here you go. I did also bring eyeshadow palettes with me on my little vacation. These three were all with me when we drove south. These two did not go with me to Italy, but this one did. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you know what it looks like, it's beautiful. Use a lot of these shades actually, so yes. This video is already very long. I'm gonna put this away and do a quick shop. Okay, let's start with blushes. And as I was editing my uh, Shop My Stash Travel Edition, I realized that everything was crooked. I hope it's not crooked this time. <sighs> anyway, so now I have access to all my Project Pan stuff again, so I feel like I have to take that into consideration when I choose a color. And actually, the first shade or blush that I feel into or that I want to use this time is this one from H&M called Cameo Pink. It is like on me, you know, I guess it's mainly some kind of sheen, you know, it's like a slight hint of a pink. It's actually very, like, gorgeous. <laughs> very gorgeous is such an interesting way to, you know, it's an adjective superlative oh my goodness i really have to start focusing on using my words and not just saying things and hoping people will understand um can we do two blushes are we that adventurous yeah how about we do this one have you used this one in a shop my stash i don't think so this one is from clarence my friend gave it to me it's called candy it's a cream blush there's quite a lot of pan in it it's a very pretty shade as well. It's like, I don't know, it's a pink, but it's, it's a pink, but there's no but, it's just a pink. I'm like blending it out to nothing. Can you see anything? Yeah, I guess you can see something, right? It's also very pretty. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. And so we go into highlighters. Um, I was re-watching an old video and I saw when I had this one in a shop my stash, the Halo Holographic Drops from Cover FX. Now, if you are a fan of Simply Neological or Christine, this is not hollow. Like the packaging is because there's a rainbow in this like thingy, but the product itself is not very rainbow. It's more like an iridescent blue. Oh wow, okay. <sighs> I guess you're not supposed to store it on its side. Look at all that. But anyway, whatever. Wow. Look. Ugh. Anyway, don't look too close. Why did I tell you to look? Just don't look. Okay, so here is the product. Oh my god. Look at that absolutely magical shift. Yes. Okay. Bonus <sighs> highlighter powder everywhere. Don't look. So that one. And then let's do, how about we do this one? This was a long time ago. The Morphe Highlighter in Spark. It's like a neutral tone, you know? It's pretty. It's just, yeah, it's nice. We'll do that one as well. And then we do bronzers. Okay, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, blinding you. We're moving those two. They're too shiny. So that was the, I removed the Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Ghost and the Kaya in Sassy. But then, let's see, what do we do? We've had these ones relatively recently. How about we do 60? So this is the Le Beige um, Healthy Glow Sheer Powder in number 60 from Chanel. My friend gave it to me. The packaging is, yeah. Um, it's a little darker than the 30. Uh, okay, it, no. I'm probably not gonna get a very good swatch. I can already tell. Like on my finger, you can tell that there's something going on, but on my hand, not so much. I will, last time when I had the 30, I did say that I might repress, repress this one. Didn't get around to it. Might do it for this one, depending on what I feel like it. But let's use that one. And then should we do some kind of glowy something? I have, I, 
yeah, let's do this one. This is the Illamasqua Beyond Powder in an unknown shade. It is pretty, I guess it's more of a highlighter, but I do like using it as a bronzer topper. Look, it's actually, it is pretty similar to Spark, just like a hair darker, but that'll be good. So that was bronzers. Now, I usually would go into lips, but let me show you the chaos that is my lipstick drawer at the moment. Yes, we are not going to deal with this, me Gavin, right now. But I am going to take out my newest purchases, these two. The Kiko Milano Smart Fusion in 05. Ooh, we'll put her there. Yeah. And the Kiko Milano 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in 23. Mm hmm. So I will put these in my little shopping bag or box. And those are the ones I will use, but I am planning on doing um, like a, a lipstick collection slash declutter. So yes, we're not using any of these. Or I might, but not in the Shop My Stash. Okay, single eye shadows. These are the ones I used last time. I haven't put them back in their proper Z palettes, but we will get around to that. Immediately, I feel like I want to use this shade. This is a makeup store shade that my friend gave me. It is called Sapphire. And it's a shade that I like look at and I'm like, oh, it's pretty. And I just never, never get around to using it. So there, it's almost like it. There's a shade in the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde that is a little similar, I feel. But it's the kind of shade where like the base pigment is very sheer like if you but you can tell that because like, the difference between my finger and the actual swatch so that'll be fun to use that one let's do that mm -hmm. and then should we go for how about we do this clarins shade called vibrant violet it is old so that you know but i don't again i've said this before i don't think it's necessarily the powder the formula that's going off but pigmentation has just gotten so much more so much better so yeah let's do that one i feel like those two are good compliments to my other shadows that are in project pans etc how's about we do this one also this is the uh, lancome color design in pearly blue it is a blue it's pretty i vaguely remember it being a little chalky Let's see when we swatch it. Oh, oh, can you see? It's like a beautiful iridescence. Wow. Okay, it's like almost a blue highlighter, but it's a little more green than blue if you compare it to the one from Color Effects, Cover Effects. That'll be fun. Okay, so those three. Mm -hmm. Moving into bases. I have a few foundations in mm, different project so I don't think I'm gonna do a foundation I don't have a powder and I feel like evaluating to see how translucent this one is this is from uh, Lumen their sheer finish loose powder with arctic cloudberry in translucent it has like a little puff that I should wash and I don't know let's just do a quick swatch on my hand yes it's relatively translucent on a person with a darker skin tone than mine though i am not sure how translucent this is i you know but i remember it being pretty good and again for hot weather glasses marks etc yeah and then in terms of base products no foundations however i do feel okay so these are my mascaras i have four mascaras this one um, is almost dried out, so I will take this one out and try to finish it, but I will also combine it with the Glossier Lash Slick. My friend gave this to me. It gives a very natural look, which I guess is nice, but I, you know, I just don't use it, so I'm going to try to use that on these coming two weeks, and that'll be fine. Oh, I just remembered. I bought a foundation on sale. I had the testers for the KVD Vegan Beauty 
good apple and then it was on sale at a sephora so i was like okay i'll buy it so i bought the shade 004 <laughs> i yeah 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 but anyway i was really happy with that buy and then finally this drawer oh my gosh okay let's do this one the nyx studio photogenic i'm pretty sure it's like almost done so we're doing that one to finish it and then do we have another base oh you know what let's do actually let's do camel isadora active all day wear eyeshadow it is so rubbed off but the color is beautiful this is the shade camel um here oh it's such a good it's such a good like cool slash neutral e brown oh yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. Yes, and then um, eyeliner pencil. No, lip liner. Lip liner. Ooh, how about this one? This is the shade Strawberry Daiquiri from Makeup Store. This isn't this like a classic summer shade though. I mean, yeah, it'll look really nice with that one. Oh, fun. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then let's also do this one, the mixture with Lancome and Too Faced Nude Beach. Yes, I think that'll be fine since I have the matte lip crayon. So yeah. Okay. Okay, so that was the Shop My Stash. I think it's so long and I do apologize, but yeah, that was this was fun. I'm super looking forward to using these things. Um, and yeah, I want to use them all right now, but uh, no, it's too late. The sun has actually changed position in the sky, very obviously, because I've been filming for so long. So look at all this gorgeousness though. <laughs> Okay, I hardly remember how I started this video. So a very definite sign that I should stop now and just stop. So I hope you're having a nice day, morning, evening, night, wherever you are and whatever season you are. I hope that if you have hot weather that you can, you know, cool yourself off in a nice way. And I hope that if you have cool weather that you have ways of keeping warm. So that was it. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, we're calming down now, you know. And I will see you in approximately two weeks with a new Shop My Stash. But until then, stay safe, wash your hands, get vaccinated, and get a booster shot if you can. And I will see you in two weeks-ish. Bye!